Um, you know, I always try and eat, I, I eat a bunch of granola and a banana, just in like pre-game, but then like my actual meal is usually like, like a sandwich or something like with some carbs or something like that, you know, just fuel me up, that's healthy, but won't slow me down. After it's like really whatever my mom cooked, you know, <laughs> feeling good, usually, you know, I enjoy pasta, eat a lot of pasta, you know, like I said, carbs. Um, <laughs> any leftovers, anything, anything I can find in my fridge, like I'll whip myself something up. I think it's very important, you know, if you eat, if you eat bad, I think that translates to the field, you know, you'll just feel bad and you'll play bad. It's, that's just how I look at it. Well, I bring a big jug of water with me to school every day, and then I drink like more after. So, like at least, at least like 80 ounces a day is my assumption. But you know, it keeps, keeps it keeps the cramps away. Um, food makes your body better when food makes our bodies better anyway, whether we're exercising or not. It it all comes down to the quality of what we're eating. Um, real food. I always say food from the field, not the factory. Um, and I always equate it to putting gas in your car. You've got to put the right fuel in your car to run properly. It's almost like a NASCAR. You're not going to put regular gas in it, especially if you're an athlete, um, and expect it to run and perform the way that you want to. Before and after meals or sports is, is always important. Um, obviously, you don't want to eat a... a heavy meal right before you're competing so the timing of that's kind of important you're usually a couple hours out um with your big meal before a competition and then it wouldn't be a bad idea to to grab a, a light snack something that's easily digestible while you're performing um, and even during um halftime i know uh i used to talk to the, the nutritionist for the pittsburgh steelers and they would do something as simple as like gummy bears. They had a barrel of gummy bears in their locker room that the guys would grab a handful of. I know you're thinking, why would they be eating candy? But that's a very simple sugar that replaces the glucose they lost. Um, and obviously you're talking about prime athletes, but some kind of simple glucose replacement in the middle of your competition. And then obviously afterwards, um, you don't want to delay replacing those nutrients too long after your competition. Uh, so they generally say, you know, within an hour after a workout or uh, a competition to, you know, refuel your proteins and your carbohydrates. I think it's, you know, the most important thing to perform. Evaluate. Evaluate. You know, I think, why you know, I, think like I think three soft tacos from Chipotle before a game is essential. You know, peak performance after, after you eat, you know. I think a good source of protein, something like Chipotle, is good before a game because uh, it can give you a good boost of energy before you play and it'll last uh, through, the, through the entire game.